Hey everyone, it's Jojo and I am back. I finally got my cast off and I am so happy to just be playing with Beyblades and making video for you guys. Uh, it's been such a struggle, struggle just not being able to pay, uh, play Beyblades. I can't even, I couldn't even play video games. All I did was watch movies and sit on my butt for the last like two and a half weeks. But uh, again, I am just so happy to be here. And um, yeah, just making videos, playing Beyblades, and just having fun again. Uh, so today, this video is going to be a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back. Um, I'll be practicing launching with my left hand. So that's because my right hand is still pretty weak. I still have mobility in a lot of my fingers, but my wrist isn't, you know, it doesn't have a lot of range of motion. I can't really like pinch too, like too hard. I can't grip too hard with this. So. I, I can hold the launcher with this with my right hand, but I have to pull the string with my left. So this is going to be just a practice video, and also a practice for an up upcoming LA tournament. Uh, we're having a classic format Beyblade Burst tournament this Saturday, uh, so I have a bunch of classic combos here, and we're just gonna have a bunch of battles. So first, I like to test uh, certain combos. Um, my favorite go-to combo for classic or even before uh, god layers came out um, was neptune and i used to put it on spread orbit but i put it on gravity revolve uh, revolve obvious, obviously because it has that stamina uh, gravity because it has a little bit more stamina than um, than spread i believe and also a little bit more than heavy and uh, the Neptune layer is just like really defensive, so it's kind of like a weird like defensive stamina combo, but this was just my go-to uh, Beyblade. So what I like to do when I get ready for a tournament or practice for a tournament, I take my favorite and try to find things that'll counter it. So some, something that'll outstam it, possibly like Acid, Anubis, uh, Yell, Revolve, uh, something that could attack it. Or burst it like victory valkyrie gravity extreme dash and extreme dash is legal in uh, classic um, maybe even something like this a hasbro combo rock Tavor, heavy octa um, very dangerous combo very very I, I made a video about this a long time ago except that this didn't this wasn't um octa it, it, this wasn't out at the time but uh, this layer could pr really destroy things. So I don't know if I want to practice with this. I'm afraid I'm going to break my own Beyblades. So um, yeah, so basically I'm going to test this combo against some attack and uh, better stamina combos just to see, um, it, just to help me practice and get better with this certain combo. So uh, let's, let's, yeah, we're basically going to try and test it against all of these here. So let's just get started. So first combo, I'm actually going to use Dragoon S Heavy Extreme, and um, I feel like this is the uh, lesser of the Dragoons, the, the classic Dragoon. So we have Dragoon F right here. This one's actually a little bit better, but um, this kind of holds a soft spot in my heart because this was great in one of the our battles or our tournaments a few years ago. It was bursting D2 combos like it was nothing. And that just made me so happy because D2 was like dominating at the time. That was like two years ago. But we'll get, we're going to see if we could burst Neptune, Gravity, Revolve. Three, two, one, go. So with Dragoon, you don't have to launch it as hard going against opposite, co opposite spin combos. And no, was not able to burst it. No clicks on on Neptune. And halfway on Dragoon. Three, two, one, go. In Neptune, the layer is just is just really tanky. And halfway again on Dragoon. And one click on Neptune. Three, two, one, go.
yeah, not so great on um, for Dragoon S. Uh, no clicks on this one, so that was 3-0 for Neptune. And um, Dragoon S can burst other classic combos, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But for now, let's stick, stick with Neptune. Let's try a more aggressive combo. This one is really, really fun. Spriggan Heavy Hunter Dash. I'm, cho I'm choosing Hunter Dash right now because, first of all, I really like the color scheme. The red, pink, and white, and all that. And I'm also using Extreme Dash on this purple V2, so um, Hunter Dash for now. Three, two, one, go. Alright, that wasn't a very... very long launch. Oh! I was just gonna say my launch wasn't that very strong. I wasn't... I'm not used to launching left-handed on attack combos, but it didn't matter because we got a burst! And halfway to bursting on Spriggan. That was amazing. So I'm only going to count that as one point. In classic tournament, everything is one point up until um, deck format. So that's it's one for Spriggan, zero for Neptune. Three, two, one, go. Again, not a, not a very good launch with um, Spriggan there. It's kind of difficult when you do it opposite. Uh, ooh, but halfway to bursting on Neptune, so not not too bad. It's 1-1. One, one. Three, two, one, go. Right, there we go. That was a good hit. And this <laughs> Spriggan lost <laughs> standing up. Another reason I chose to uh, use Hunter Dash is because I feel like it gets to the center faster. Um, but that's just my opinion. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm getting better launching left-handed with attack bait blades. There we go. Really good hits. Oh, there's our burst. We're now tied. 2-2. Two, two. This combo is really, really fun. 3-2-1, go. Oh, ouch. Man, that makes me nervous. Just that constant hitting. That combo. but it doesn't look good for Spriggan. That was a really close match, though, and it was halfway to bursting, so uh, it's this is the closest to beating it, so that's going to be a really good combo to, to have on me in case someone will use this against me. Next up, we're going to try something a little bit more aggressive, actually way more aggressive. We have Victory, Valkyrie, Gravity, Extreme Dash, and um, I feel like Gravity is, is, is good for this because the Extreme Dash won't We'll, we'll help it with burst resistance. Um, Alright, three, two, one, go. Oh, knock out! Nice! Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's just missing a, a lot of attacks. Neptune just dodging. Alright, it's 1-1. One, one. And we're halfway to bursting. Not a lot of contact, but still halfway to bursting. 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, 
my launch is very underpowered when it comes to using attack type combos. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That was a little bit better. And there's the first. Nice. It's, it's two, two now. All right, for the win. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. Nice attack, nice burst. And your winner. Victory Valkyrie defeated my Neptune combo, my uh, my stamina slash defense combo. So these two have a really good chance at defeating combos like that. Um, probably this one a little bit more because of the extreme dash and the attack points are just a little bit more aggressive. But yeah, let's move on to some stamina types. We have A2 Yale Revolve. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Acid Anubis outspun Neptune. It does have a, a better stamina layer on it. Three, two, one, go. And another win for Acid Anubis. Three, two, one, go. Two, not going down just yet. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> And that is a win for Acid Anubis. So the superior stamina combo compared to uh, Neptune. So I'm going to keep Acid Anubis in there. And I want to feature Dragoon S a little bit more. So this is Dragoon S Heavy Extreme. Um, this can, again, this can burst some uh, classic combo. So this would be, you know, your typical stamina combo. We also, well, I also kind of made this... Uh, a wyvern knuckle orbit knuckle because I feel like it gives it a little bit more burst resistant and the layer is um, is uh, is really hard to burst and the orbit's gonna help it with mobility to kind of get out of the way of attacks and we also have our classic combo Odin heavy defense this was banned at one point and uh, let's bring in a, a Hasbro combo in here so we have Unicrest spread survive which is a pretty good stamina combo so I'm going to throw Dragoon S against these four here. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 
Again, you don't have to launch very hard. And there's our burst. Three, two, one, go. My launch wasn't very good on, on that and this round. All right, but let's see where Anubis is at. Uh, no, no clicks on it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, a little bit better flower pattern at the beginning. Three, two, one, go. A couple good hits in the beginning. Ooh, still survived against Dragoon, uh, but halfway to bursting on that one. Uh, we did get a nice burst at the beginning. All right, so let's move on to uh, Wyvern Knuckle Orbits. Three, two, one, go. All right, good hits. Let's, let's see if Wyvern, oh, Wyvern is pretty resistant in this combo. Uh, no clicks on that. Three, two, one, go. All right, so that is Burst Priority, Wyvern stayed intact, and, oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Where the, oh, here it is. And uh, Dragoon Burst. Three, two, one, go. Oh, come on. So many good attacks here. And that's the good thing about Orbit, it's just like kind of avoiding it. And but it was halfway to bursting. Now let's try out Odin Heavy Defense. Classic combo. It's pretty burst resistant, also has great stamina. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Odin, <laughs> staying strong. One click. Three, two, one, go. Oh, those last two hits were amazing, but it wasn't enough. Ooh, very close. One click away to bursting. Three, two, one, go. And Odin is still a tank. One click. So I think I'm going to just feature one more combo, and that is Gigant Gaia Gravity Bite. So this combo is a KO defensor. So basically, it's a great defense Beyblade meant to KO the opposing Beyblade, and it's it's hard to KO this Beyblade. Um, I used this combo uh, a couple years ago, I think the same tournament that I used this combo, but um, I was going up against the King Tai. He had a stationary attack combo. I believe it was something similar to um, Valkyrie Triple Press, but I think he had trans on it. I'm not sure. Um, it was in the finals and I was down, I think the score was three. I had three points and he had two. I was losing a lot of stamina and I just thought, Oh well, I'll just, you know, I'll sacrifice one point and then I'll just choose a better Beyblade in the next round. But what ended up happening was <laughs> this KO'd at the very last second and I got two points and uh, won, um, won in the battle. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna test out this combo. 
Um, if you want to see a more in-depth video about it, uh, Wombat has a really great video on Gigant Gaia Gravity Unite. Um, he chose Unite because he doesn't have uh, Bite, but Bite, um, it, I mean, Unite would be a really good uh, alternative to, um, to Bite. So we're going to test this battle right now. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Wow, Gigan Gaia actually burst! Three, two, one, go! Uh, one of the bad things about the Gigan Gaia combo is that it has a rubber tip, so it's not going to have as much stamina. Three, two, one, go! Burst to Valkyrie. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it actually got knocked out. And I think we're tied. I actually lost count. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was good. Oh, and there we have a burst. That was awesome. All right, you guys, that's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy to be back, and I'll see you soon with more Beyblade Burst videos.